he doesn't show you the the true pictures what he always shows you know so i'm so offended and um one day i'll just pick my mind you know yeah for me i'll never have love for him i'm sorry guys to speak this but i'm very offended very offended you know he once brought police officers at my home Welcome to Efox number one stop to entertainment and trending news. Now it's often said that at times it reaches a point where someone can have enough until they can't no more. And that is the point where if they have been bottling up anything, they will put it all out there. And it seems that is the point that international traveler Marwa brother David Jr. has reached. For a while now, there have been rumors circulating on social media that things are not okay within the family when it comes to the siblings. David Jr. and his siblings, who are YouTubers, that is Marwa and Dim Wango, are not in good terms. The other person who has been involved in this mix is their uncle, Mo. The tension within the family could be felt. Even their own subscribers started to note how things were operating within the family. Division started, and at one point, David Jr. was renovating their grandfather's house, and Marwa, together with his sister, disassociated themselves from that project putting out to their followers that they are not involved in that project. And so David Jr. somehow was sidelined and he ended up completing that project. Marwa did visit uh, his grandfather and he put out that his brother actually did the work. And so David Jr. in his video, which I'll be playing to you shortly, puts out that the people who were criticizing him for doing that project, they went there, visited, and that is how God works. The only person who visited was his brother. And the other thing is that he mentioned this is someone who calls other people scammers and he mentions a young man by the name fellow the boy and i shared with you guys a video some time back as mara called this boy a scammer taking donations and people are complaining to him and so david jr refers to the things that happened to fellow the boy are the same things that were happening to him he also goes ahead to say that his brother had him arrested he doesn't stop at that he alleges that he has been going through so much behind the scene at some point in time you get to see him very emotional and you can see that he really wants to put so much out there he says that he had been sidelined by his family except from his mother who has been very supportive of him and he also says that they have an older sister but one day she will make an appearance in one of his videos and so david jr basically confirmed the rumors that have been happening on social media that there is tension within the family that he has been treated not right within the family and this was his confirmation for that let's get to listen to david jr in his own words courtesy of his youtube channel okay. guys when i started constructing construction at my grandpa's place you saw i was uh people they were against me true story you know people they were against me so for me i decided just to go what i believe in you know and also i'm not under it soon i'll be getting a family <laughs> so for me i just do my things at my own pace and one of the things that i really really appreciate about my uncle my uncle uh, he's kind of polite my uncle he's kind of polite um why am i saying this my I, my uncle is kind of polite because at times uh, people can call him names on public saying that he's lazy but for me guys i can't tolerate such a thing i can't tolerate such a thing you know because i have the voice you know i can't tolerate such a thing and for me <laughs> somebody can't mention my name anyhow because uh, i'll respond that's how I am, just to speak my mind, you know. So my uncle is kind of polite. He can just see things going on like that, you know. But I really appreciate him. And for me, I have to support him because he's like a brother to me, you know. He's like a brother to me. In which um, my bond with him will be forever, you know. Yeah, that's how so, it is. And for me, guys, I'll never, never have love to somebody who always show me crazy things, 
who always bullies me outside the camera, but he can't show you the reality, you know. I'll never have love to such a person. He bullies me from uh, outside the camera, off camera, I mean, but he can't show you, like, what's going on. The person can film my video, but when, uh, when he sees me or something, he hides the camera, so he can't, like, you know what I'm getting? And also, for me, I'll never have love to such a guy who bullies me, but he can't show. But on camera, he's a different person. For for me, I said no to such to such character traits. I'll just be who I am, you know. Yeah, guys. Sorry, guys. At times, uh, this video for me, I've seen God uh, on my side, especially when people really criticized me. They were saying uh, we are disassociating from David Jr. <laughs> That's when like doors really open because I got uh, many friends when people said we are officially disassociating with David Jr. So people came up. I really made friends. Um, yeah, guys, for me, I'm just grateful. But I thank my mom so much. She has never sidelined me. And um, yeah, my mom, she has been my guiding star. Since day one, even uh, at the university, my mom always gives me calls and stuff. So my mom, she has been my guiding star all through, in which I'm forever grateful. I said no to crazy behavior. I said no to being controlled, you know. <laughs> when I didn't have a say, I used to be controlled too much, you know, even uploading videos, I could uh, put a video and directly I could get a call there by there. But right now I'm doing my thing at my own pace, and which is a good thing. And for me, you have to understand, guys, eh? I've been building myself from less than 10,000 subscribers. The journey is self-made. Never anybody come on social media to tell you like it's me who because of me david june is there no 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 david june is self-made eh? from less than ten thousand subscribers that's the fact you know so then nobody come here and say stuff and stuff so this is uh, our uh, sukuma week or kills this how they are this how they are you know you people, you've been amazing. You've been amazing since day one, you know. And I love the fact that you people, you can see by yourself, you know, the good side. Not anybody telling you, me, I'm not in this story, you know. Yeah, guys, I really appreciate you because you never listen to other people how they say, you know. Me, I'm just happy for that. Because people are supporting us unconditionally, despite other people they are criticizing me, they are saying they are disassociating with me. That's pure madness. And thank you all for supporting my uncle. And for me, I feel like if um, if I couldn't make the decision, the sacrifice of going out of my comfort zone, not listening to people, even uh, the house that we've already constructed for my uncle it couldn't be there that's a true fact you know even my grandpa's place if i couldn't say no to bullying you know it couldn't be there and that's the fact i'm grateful the person just went a few days there to see my grandpa and he recognized the good work i did in which is a uh, for me i just said oh that's how god works in a miraculous way you know yeah, guys, at times I'm very, very emotional just to see somebody kind of to control people who are trying to do their work. I feel so bad, but I thank God I have a platform where I can speak by myself without, um, without any contradiction, you know. And that's how David Jr. is. I went to school properly just to 
to know how to speak my mind, you know. Somebody coming on social media just to call my uncle lazy, that is a kind of disrespect, you know. He's a brother to my mom, and I felt really, really bad. For me, being a last born in the family, somebody who used to even cook for us, you know, something, sometimes, like, I feel kind of offended, you know. But all in all, I feel like even crying, but for me, I'll just keep doing my thing. And for me, like, I have nothing to lose. I have nothing to lose. I have nothing to lose, you know. Yeah. You people don't know what's going on off camera, but one day I'll just speak myself, you know. But for me, I'll never have loved somebody who even lied. Guys, you know, I was once um i will never have love to somebody who lied and brought police officers to me and i got arrested simply because he said i've uh, cracked my sister's laptop you know yeah he once lied to police officers here and i got arrested he knows that my sister's laptop which is d mwango's laptop it cracked a uh, long time ago he bought from South Africa, but because we differ in opinions, he brought police officers. If I'm not lying, go on his, uh, his um, comment section on videos, go ask him. Even one day, I'll just uh, do a video with my parents and I mean my mom and my dad so that they can react. That's a crazy guy in which I'll never have love for him, you know? Yeah. I'm so emotional, guys, at times. You don't know what's happening off camera, but only God knows, only God knows. You know, I've been going through a lot, especially even uh, constructing my uncle's house. At times, uh, it's very difficult. Like for me, being a, a university, yeah. For me, that's a fake guy, you know. He doesn't tell you the reality. He doesn't tell you the reality. He always calls other people fake, but... That's the reality, that's real. And uh, I'm on camera and uh, I'm just saying this, you know, I'm just saying this. That guy once brought uh, police officers on uh, because I differed with uh, him some opinions. He said I cracked my sister's laptop. Even I have the receipts, you know. So he doesn't show you the, the true pictures, what he always shows, you know. So I'm so offended and um, one day I'll just speak my mind, you know. Yeah, for me I'll never have love for him. I'm sorry guys to speak this, but I'm very offended, very offended, you know. He once brought police officers at my home and he lied, I cracked my sister's laptop. So if somebody just divide and rule, divide and rule. And for me I'll never have love for him. Wow, guys, that was heavy. And for him to put out that he would never have love for his brother clearly indicates how much he has been hurt and also how deep the tension within this family is. I can imagine if he is able to say this on camera, these are people that perhaps are not even in talking terms. And what's sad is that YouTube donations, contributions has led to even a family breaking down. International traveler Mara has not responded to these allegations by his brother, calling the police to arrest him, controlling him, sidelining him, among other things that he has mentioned in the video, including bullying. So let's just wait and see if Marwa will respond to this. And I can also imagine what happened when he got to hear what his brother had put online, considering they're in the same house. And so there are people who are saying, don't do this, don't trash your brother online. And others who are saying, good for you for speaking up and not allowing to be looked down upon on. So others who are congratulating him for being brave enough to speak his truth with no intimidation or fearing his brother. Well, that's it for today. Thanks so much for watching. Subscribe if you haven't. Hit your notification bell so you're notified once you have any new uploads and you can catch up with that video on David Jr.'s channel so that you can listen to it in depth. See you in the next one. Bye-bye.